right, Shalom. Shalom. All right, this is Brother Yikwag and the Brother uh, Bonsapat uh, here with the GMS Dallas Camp. Okay, first off, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekak, and Dash. All right, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach real well. And then salutations to the Akim scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, uh, keeping his word in truth and sincerity. Uh, now, we're just going to go into a topic, you know, concerning, uh, you know, overall concerning how uh, uh, Esau, you know, who was so-called white man according to the uh, according to the Bible, you know, we're going to go overall, we're going to go into how, you know, how, how much of a devil he is. Good. All right, because we all know, we all know the history uh, concerning the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and how Esau came over here and, and pretty much uh, almost committed a, a genocide with these people, all right? Specifically talking about the Native Americans, right? All right, which is which is uh, uh, the tribe of Gad, all right. According to the pro uh, well, we are gonna get it. You know what I'm saying? We are gonna show you how Gad, the so-called Native Americans, came over here to the Americas, all right, and why and how he saw he knew that did, that the, that these people were over here. Right. Okay. So get that uh, second, second Ezra. Ezra. Yeah. This is Second Ezra 13 and 40. Those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of in the time of Osea the king who Shalmanazar the king of Assyria led away captive and he carried them over the waters and so came they into another land right now you can read the, you read about that in history all right to, uh, about the whole captivity you know the Israelite captivity uh, that they had uh, during the Assyrian empire you know what i'm saying now now it said uh, those were the ten tribes which were carried away yeah, prisoners. prisoners. Yep. Right now, go ahead, keep going. Forty-one. But they took this counsel amongst themselves that they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a further country where never mankind dwelt. Right now, if you read the first before, it says that uh, uh, them over the waters, and so they came into another land. Right. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so they could pretty much uh, keep the laws, statutes, and commandments, all right? right? Because we weren't able to keep the laws because uh, we were in, uh, under the under the captivity of the Assyrians, all right? So we weren't able to uh, uh, fulfill the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you know what I'm saying? Uh, because of, of, of the captivity, right? You know what I mean? Uh, go ahead, keep going. Verse four to two, that they might keep their statutes, which they never kept in their own land. See, there you go. Go ahead. Verse 43, and they entered into the Euphrates by the narrow passage of the river. For the uh, Verse 44, for the Most High then showed signs for them and held still the flood till they were passed over. Right, so they went down through that part and then, uh, you know, around uh, uh, through that part of uh, Africa, you know, the that Euphrates you, river. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then they went down around and then that's how they came into. Uh, uh, you know, the South America, you know what I'm saying, Central America and all that. Right. You know, uh, go ahead, keep going. Oh, wait. Uh, which verse? 44. Okay, yeah, read verse yeah, 45. For through that country, there was a great way to go, namely of a year and a half, and the same region is called Azareth. Right, the same region, region is called Azareth. Region, right. Uh, which is which is America. That's right. All right, so they were, t they were prisoners, you know what I'm saying, uh, and under captivity of the Assyrians. All right, and he just gave you the list of names of who who was ruling it at that at that time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you can look this up, and uh, they they pretty much were came amongst us like, man, we hey, let's go, let, let, let's get out of here, man. We gotta that's so we can keep our laws, statutes, and commandments. Mm -hmm. You know, so they left. You know, the Most High held held them waters, them floods. You know what I'm saying? So they could pass safely through there. Right. All right, and then that's how they made it over here. And then uh, they said it took them a year and a half to travel. Yeah. Yeah, that was took, a long time. Yeah, you know, because if you go back to uh, uh, it was First Kings eleven, I think. Navy uh, uh, King Saul with King Saul, his navy ship. Yeah, yeah. Uh, get where is that? I think it's First Kings eleven. Can you get it real quick? Or is that in on that? Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. I'll uh, stop at uh, forty-five. Okay. And then they dwelt there until the latter time, and now they shall become. But now, when they shall become, to begin to come. Right. So like it. Then dwell they there until the latter time. We're in the latter times now. And now when they shall begin begin to come, come back together as a people, man. 
Yeah. Say, so you, uh, you want to try to know where that? Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, First Kings 10 and 22. All right. So now it showed you right there uh, that uh, it took him about it was a, about a year and a half. You know what I'm saying? That, that it took him to get over to that land, which which is called Arsereth, which is America. All right. And the same thing. Uh, uh, First Kings First 10, Kings. 10 and 22. Okay. You know what I'm saying? The same thing. Uh, 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 it shows you that King so that, that that King Solomon knew about this land. Right. All right. You know what I'm saying? And that's how you know really Esau. You know he he be you know he you have uh, them high scholars, man. That they you know they found out about about uh, uh, us being over here. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a movie. I forget where it's at. What uh, 1492? The old school. Uh, that one. What's that? You know which one I'm talking about? I know one fourteen. I think it's fourteen and two. Christopher Columbus. I think. Yeah, it was. It, it was like an actor. He was playing Christopher, Christopher Columbus. Yeah, yeah, right, right. I think it was fourteen nine and two. I think. Yeah. I, I think that's what it's called. Okay, Khan. You know, so yeah, you know, so he was. There was a scene where he was talking to somebody, and the guy they were arguing pretty much, like he didn't believe him. You know what I'm saying? And then, and then yeah, Christopher Columbus was like, man, but Ezra says, and then the guy cut him off. You know what I'm saying? Which shows you that they know. That, uh, 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 that what the apocrypha was talking about was, uh, was real, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Why else would Christopher Columbus come over here with, with uh, Hebrew translators? You know? Because they knew that the, uh, who these people were. You know, they knew where they were coming to, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, he, Christopher Columbus went up, took some slaves back, and then that's how uh, 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 she, uh, who, was, who was it, Queen Elizabeth? I think so, yeah. You Queen know? Elizabeth and Ferdinand, yep, yep. You know, and then that's how she, he, 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 he got his whole thing funded. You know what I'm saying? He showed a proof, like, look, see, there's people over here who got all this. You know what I'm saying? And that he convinced them. Right. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, um, like I was saying, you know, that shows you how uh, King Solomon knew about this place. You know, because because it, it'll show you that it was the same place that they went to. Because uh, read that. This is First Kings 10 and 22. But the king has set a navy of Tarshish with the navy of Hiram. Once in three years came the navy of Tarshish bringing gold and silver, ivory and apes and peacocks. Right, so they were going to this land and it came, uh, what does it say, every, uh, once every three once years? Once every three years. You know, because it take it took a year and a half to get there, to go over there, and it took another year and a half to get back, right. three years. Right. You know what I'm saying? And they got what, peacocks, apes? Silver, ivory, gold, peacocks. You know what I'm saying? All these exotic things, you know what I'm saying? All, all, this, uh, 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 all these minerals, right. you know what I'm saying? So they knew about this place. King Solomon knew about this place, man. So that's where they went to. Back in uh, uh, 2nd Ezra 13 and, and, uh, and uh, starting at verse 40. All right? So they came over here to America, you know what I'm saying? And they had their, their whole thing set up, you know what I'm saying? Because if you read, I believe it's John the 10th chapter, where it says, I have sheep of another fold. He was talking about us over here. That sheep of another fold is, it was talking about them, them 10 tribes, the, the northern tribes. John 10 and 16. Yeah, uh, try that. Yeah, try that. said John 10, right? Yeah, John 10. Yeah, it's probably that one. You know what I'm saying? Because Yahweh has said, uh, I have a sheep, I have a fold, or a sheep. Uh, man, I don't want to misquote it. Uh, John 10 and 16. And other sheep I have, which are not of this fold, them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. Right, so that's when uh, all them tribes are going to come back. You know what I'm saying? Gonna come back together. You know what I'm saying? But hey, Yahushai, man, I remember uh, Elder, uh, Apostle Gabar did a video saying that, that Yahushai came over here to the to the Americas. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, there, damn, I forget where it was. But damn, I know, never mind. It's all good. But anyways, yeah, man, Yahushai came over here. Cause if you read, you know, you could read different accounts, you know, in the in like history of of, of those people, you know, like Native Americans and the Aztecas. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because if you watch that movie Blood In, Blood Out, uh, you had, you know, it was a bunch of Ishakarites, and you had one scene where the where the dude was spray painting the car, and they, and they show like a mighty Aztec warrior or whatever, with like, you know what I'm saying? Missed that. I could watch that. Yeah, and then he okay. was like, look, check this out. This is, uh, I forget his name. He had a weird name, like Quito Clana or something like that. Right. And then he was like, you see, this is the, you know, this is the man that came, and that he's going to deliver or save us, you know what I'm saying? Oh, man. oh, he's going to come back and save us, you know what I'm saying? Save our people or whatever. I forget how he says it, but he made that point. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, uh, 
those, you know, he came to, uh, Yahweh came over here, you know what I'm saying, and, and uh, 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 to, to the Americas. Yeah. That's, how, that's why he said that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I have a sheep with another bowl. Uh, read that again. John 10 and 16. And other sheep I have, which are not of this fold, them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and there shall and there shall be one fold and one sheep and one shepherd. Right now, now you you can see that you know you have the uh, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans over here today. You right. know what I'm saying? Now we're starting to wake up. You know what I'm saying? From uh, from all all kinds of nations. Right. You know, Israelites amongst other nations are waking up to this truth. Right. You know what I mean? So it's, uh, so the prophecy is, is, is happening before these people's eyes, and they, they, they can't even see it. Can't see it at all. Most I got them, they got them blinded up right before their eyes, man. Done. They're expecting another temple to be actually built. It's just the, 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 the third temple, the third temple being built is spiritual now. Yeah. Now what you see. Done, done, yeah, that's right, you know. So you had those, the 10 tribes that were brought over here, or that, that came over here, you know what I'm saying? And, and you know, to really follow and go back to the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, but you know Israel, man, they, they give me a Nehemiah the ninth chapter. You know, you know Israel, man, they're a stiff neck, hard headed uh, uh, people. You know what I mean? You can see, and you see it throughout the, the whole scripture, man. Judges, uh, Joshua, Nehemiah, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they tell you how these people were. You know, so eventually they started going off again. Born after different idols. Now, uh, let's see. Uh, start at verse. Uh, okay, start at verse ten. All right. So it's going to show you a few examples of all the things that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai did did for uh, did for the nation of Israel. You know, and it showed you an example in, in uh, Second Answers thirteen. It said when he held still the flood, right. you know, which allowed us to get through over here to that land. You know, to this land, you know what I'm saying? So, he is, you know, this chapter is going to show you a few examples of what the Most High did and how how uh, these still, people still uh, uh, rebelled. All right, go ahead. Okay. Nehemiah 9 and 10. And showed his signs and wonders upon Pharaoh and on all his servants and on all the people of his land. For thou knewest that they dealt proudly against them, so didst thou get thee a name as it is this day. Verse 11, And thou didst divide the sea before them, so that they went through the midst of the sea on dry land, and their persecutors, though threw us into a deep, a, a, throwed us into the depths as a stone into the mighty waters. Right, so that was during the time of Moses, during the Exodus. You know, the, hey, he had Moses, you know, he gave that power to Moses to split the sea right. so they could cross. You know what I'm saying? And they seeing this, right? right. You know, they seeing these things happen, you know what I'm saying, with their eyes, with their very own eyes, right? Keep going. Moreover, thou leadest them in, in the day by a cloudy pillar and in the night by a pillar of fire to give them light in the way where when they should go. Right. So, hey, you, they seen the chariot up in the sky, you know, protecting them. You know what I'm saying? And and, and the whole time, man, the, when they out there, man, the most high is just... Uh, uh, protecting them, yeah. you know, he's with them. You know, he's actually with them. You know, what I'm saying, uh, uh, watching over them. You know what I mean? Jump down to verse 24. So if you keep reading, it's gonna show you all these examples. The Most High did this. The Most High did that, and he did this. Right? Go ahead. Verse 24. So the children went in and possessed the land, and thou shouldest before them, thou subduedest them before. So the children went in and possessed the land, and thou subduedest them, subduedest them, subduedest before them the inhabitants of the land, the Canaanites, and gave it them into their hands with their kings and the people of that land, that they might do with them as they would. And they took strong cities and a fat land, and possessed houses full of all goods, wells dig, vineyards, and olive, olive yards, and the fruit trees in abundance. So they did eat and were filled and became fat and delighted themselves thy great and thy great goodness. Right, so there you go. All these all these things the Most High did for the nation of Israel, right? All, it took us out of captivity, all right? Uh, gave us the power to, to overcome the Canaanites and, and take the land, all these goods, 
You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and, but look, check this out. Nevertheless, they were disobedient and rebelled against thee and cast thy law behind thy backs and slew thy prophets, which testified against them to turn to, to turn them to thee. And they brought great provocations. Right, they brought great provocations, man. So the most, hey, they, hey, nevertheless, they still rebelled against Yahweh by Shimei Oshai. Right. All right, which is, which is the same thing what, that happened over here, man. You know, that's why uh, uh, Gad was destroyed. You know what I'm saying? That's why uh, 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 Esau almost com com committed complete genocide against the so-called Native Americans. Right. right. That's why the Aztecas were, were uh, uh, brought down. All right. That's why the so-called Negroes were brought over here from the, uh, 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 from the western part of Africa to serve slavery. Why? Because we went off. Right. You know what I'm saying? We you, we can get that. Uh, we don't have to get it. Well, no, you, can't, can't. you know, you know, Deuteronomy the 28th chapter, going into the curses. You know, all these curses shall overcome thee until thou be destroyed. And our nation, uh, uh, our people have been destroyed. You can see them walking around and see how dead they are, how fucked up they are, always sick. You know, they they living in the ghettos, barrios. You know what I'm saying? Yep. They, getting shot up in the streets, getting killed. You know what I'm saying? If we were, man, that, that's why that's why these people are in this condition, man. That's why Gad was fucked up that much, man. Right. You know, because uh, eventually he went off. And, they, and and you can't tell me that these these those so-called Native Americans aren't a, a part of the nation of Israel, man. Gotta be. If you look at the, if you like look up, a, you know, like get a book on the history of, of the Native Americans, and you and you uh, compare their um, their uh, what's it called? Uh, compare the ways the things that they did. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, like uh, what's it called? Uh, what's the word? Uh, their customs. All right. So if you compare their customs to the how the Hebrew Hebrew customs, you will see a, a, a bunch of similarities. Yep. You know, they kept the they kept the fringes and the border and everything. You know the the herbs and the and the different uh, uh, plants and everything that they use to, for for healing and things like that. Yeah. And, they, and they for sure kept the land savage. That's why they was always moving around. That they would cultivate the land, get what they um, need out of it, and move around to another part of the land, so that land can replenish itself. That's why they moved around a lot. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, they, yeah. They kept the land savage. That's right. They, uh, what was it like every seven years? Every seven, yeah, yeah. It was like up. yeah, it, like uh, you would like cultivate it and then seven years. You would come back, you know right. what I'm saying? Give it, you know, to give it time to to replenish yeah. itself. You know? you know what I'm saying? Nah, yeah, 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 the yeah. water. And then also, you know, they had a. Uh, Anyways, you know, they also had their daily sacrifices that they did. Yep, yep. You know what I mean? So they had, man, the native, so-called Native Americans, man, were, 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 were Israelites, man. Right. Along with the so-called Latino tribes and the, and the so-called Negroes, man. You know? If it wasn't the case, they wouldn't have gone into slavery. Right. You know what I'm saying? They would have been like the other nations. You can see how few number they are right now. For real. You know what I'm saying? The only Native Americans I've seen is when I went over there to New Mexico, Los uh, uh Santa Fe. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, damn, this is the first time I've actually seen one in person. Right. You know what I'm saying? Well, besides uh, Apostle Tahar, uh, yeah, uh, Rakaw. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? But it's like the most high fucked these people up, and you could see that they were destroyed uh, uh, by the curses. All right? Can you give me group one? Yeah, because uh, he got them on reservations. Give them casinos, they drunks now, shit, we put the liquor on them. Come on, man, they Israelites, man. Yeah, yeah, they're crazy, yeah, man. Kind of. To believe otherwise, to Baruch. Yeah, Baruch chapter 1, I believe it's like 9 or 12. Baruch 9, and number 2, that's the king of Babylon, had carried away. Oh, verse 19, my bad. Uh, Baruch 1 and 19, since, since that, since the day that the Lord brought over four, brought brought our forefathers out of the land of Egypt until this present day, we have been disobedient unto the Lord our power, and we have been negligent in not hearing his voice. Right, so, and this is, and this is, 
And these things, they ain't just happen one time, you know what I'm saying? These things happen over and over and over and over again, you know? Hey, with the, with the nation of Israel going off, it's nothing new, you know? Nothing new over the sun, under the sun, you know what I mean? So Israel going back to Yahweh Hashem Yimshai, and then going off, and then coming back, back. and then going off, you know what I'm saying? It's a, yep. It was like a, that's why Most High said, uh, why should you be stricken anymore? Right, go ahead. You know what I'm saying? You're just going to revolt more and more. You know what I'm saying? That's why ultimately the Most High did away with us. Yep. Because of that. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Verse 20. Wherefore the evils cleave unto us, and the curses, and the curse which the Lord appointed by Moses his servant at the time that he brought our forefathers out of the land of Egypt to give us a land that floweth with milk and honey, like as it like as it is to see this day. Right now, see, it said the curse is cleaved unto us. Man. You know what I'm saying? So as soon as we went off, curse is on us. You know what I'm saying? So everything that 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 all the list, all the things that the mo all them curses that the Most High stated in, in uh, uh, Deuteronomy the 28th chapter, starting at the 15th verse, all of them uh, just applied right there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you can see it in the Native, so-called Native Americans, uh, the, the uh, so-called Negroes and Latinos, man. Didn't we all go into slavery? You know what I'm saying? The Spanish came over, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 over, uh, over there down, uh, 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 where was this? Uh, I forget where it was. You know, over there down south, you know what I'm saying? You had uh, the so-called Negroes brought over here, and then you had Gad out there. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And then you could, uh, even after, uh, 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 you know what I'm saying? Even after all that, you know what I'm saying? How long, you know, how long did it take until we, until we, uh, uh, as a people, got so-called rights? You know what I'm saying? It wasn't really, like, not even uh, uh, 60 years ago. Real. You know what I'm saying? Sl slavery was, was still going on 70 years ago. Right. You know what I'm saying? Or 70 years ago? Or was it like a... I know it wasn't, it wasn't that long ago. Yeah, like it wasn't. You know, years, I might be wrong, years. but, you know, my, it, my, it, was, it wasn't that long ago. You know what I'm saying? You still have people. You still have people walking around that remember that they were in slavery. Right. You know what I'm saying? You had one guy uh, just died like a few years ago. It was a, it was like maybe ten years ago, and you, they had an interview with him, and they and then they were asking him, so what was it like? What were you doing? And he was like, yeah, I was in slavery. I was doing this. I was doing that. You know, he died. He was like a hundred something when he died. But right. you know what I'm saying? But this was. But hey, you. Uh, 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 the so-called uh, Negroes, man, they didn't get civil rights until like, no, you know what I'm saying? Sixties and seventies, yeah. all that. Even after that, right. they were still they were still uh, uh, going through shit. You know, they still going through shit today. Right. You know what I'm saying? You see the enmity between uh, uh, the so uh, the the nation of Israel, which is uh, uh, you know so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and 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 these so-called white people, man. Right. Who is who are the Edomites, Esau? You know what I'm saying? Yep. Uh, nevertheless, we have not hearkened unto the voice of the Lord our power, according unto all the words of the prophets whom he sent unto us. Right, and that goes back to what we read in Nehemiah. You know what I'm saying? The Most High sent them prophets, and we and our people slew them, man. They didn't want, they didn't want to hear what we, what we had to say. Right. They wanted to do what they wanted to do, you know? They wanted to go and fulfill the lust of their flesh. Mm. You know That's what, what it says. Oh, it says, it says verse 22, the last verse. But every man followed the imagination of his own wicked heart to serve strange gods and to do evil in the sight of, of the Lord, in, in the sight of the Lord our power. Yeah. There you go. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, the, hey, they wanted to, hey, the, our people wanted to follow after their idols, do their own sacrifices. You know, you go back to the Latino tribes back in, back in the time during the Aztecas and all them, all them tribes that they had up there. Uh, they were doing human sacrifices. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They, they were doing all kinds of so worshiping the sun god. Right. You know what I'm saying? Different idols. You know that's why the Most High dis uh, 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 destroyed these people, man. Yep. You know you had uh, man. If you read the history of the different wicked things that that the so-called Native Americans did, you, uh, man, yeah, you, 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 if you understand the truth, you'd be like, well, yeah, I understand why the Most High. Almost damn near got rid of this this uh, right. uh, these people. You know what I mean? Uh, that was good, right? That was good on that. Uh, what was that? 
So you got something on the ground? No, no, that was, no, that was it. Jeremiah 5 and 20. Declare this in the house of Jacob and publish it in Judah, saying, Hear now this, O foolish people, and without understanding, which have eyes and see not, which have ears and hear not. Fear ye not me, saith the Lord, will yet not tremble at my presence, which have placed the sand for the bound of the sea by a perpetual decree that it cannot pass it. And though the waves thereof toss themselves, yet can they not prevail. Though they roar, yet can they not pass over it. But this people have their revolting and the rebellious heart. They are revolted and, and gone. Right, so the Most High, he can do that, man. He can set the bounds of the sea so they don't pass over. You know what I'm saying? He can do all these things. And you can clearly see it. You know what I'm saying? And our people, you know, people understand it too, you know what I mean? Like, right. you know, Chris, so-called Christians, like the Most High can do all these things, but they still, uh, uh, what does it say uh, about the revolting heart? But this people have the revolting and the rebellious heart. They are revolted and gone. Yeah, these people have a, a rebellious heart. You know, which the, which the word heart goes, in the Hebrew goes, uh, is la'al, which goes back and, and talk, is actually talking about your mind. Right. You know what I'm saying? Not your actual heart, but your mind. You know what I mean? So these people, their thoughts are just to be, be rebellious, to go off. You know what I mean? Well, go ahead, read the next verse. Verse 23. No, no, verse 24. Neither say they in their heart, let us now fear the Lord our power, that giveth, that giveth rain, both the former and the latter, in his seasons. He, he reserveth unto us the appointed weeks of the harvest. Right, so the Most High, you know what I'm saying, he's got control of uh, everything that's going on, but these people don't don't uh, don't say in themselves, like, man, you know what? We need to go back to the way to uh, to the ways of our Lord. Right. You know what I'm saying? But these people are so far gone that they don't even know uh, uh, who their power is. They just worship something called God and somebody called Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Not knowing that it goes back deeper than that. Right. You know what I'm saying? That there's a there's an actual uh, 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 Hebrew name that the that the that the Most High and His Son have. You know what I'm saying? Not knowing that they that they as the people are the are the nation of Israel that they read and they send these churches. All right. They read the Bible and they send the churches, but they won't even, you know, some of them, they won't even know that there's 12 tribes of Israel. Right, they'll read it and close the book. Because you got to speak the words of the Lord. If you don't, you're speaking the words in your own heart. That's what the Most High was saying. Jake started to follow after the imagination of their own wicked minds, man. Like you said, I'm preaching the pastors, being in the church, they read a verse, close the book, and come down on the pulpit, off the pulpit, start talking to you as he. Now you both stick to the scriptures to lead the people back to the Lord, but yeah, they're gonna come out of their own heart. And that's why they're going off, man. And they're not sticking to the precepts of the, of the Bible. Wow. Yeah, that's right. Uh, is there more on that? Your iniquities have turned away these things, and your sins have withholding good things from you. Yeah, that's right, man. Your sins have withholding good things from you, man. And you, hey, for example, if you read. Deuteronomy 28, start the first verse, you're going to see all the blessings. All those things are withholding from us, man. Us being in rulership is withholding from us. Right. You know, all, us not being in captivity and suffering through this uh, uh, wicked world is, is being withhold, withholding from us. Why? Because we, we, we went off. You know what I'm saying? You know, which goes back to what we were talking about, man. You had Most High... You know, put the spirit on on these on the ten them, them northern tribes to come over here. You know what I'm saying? And then you know, they say let us keep our com the commandments and everything. But then they went off. So Most High sent uh, Esau over here to fuck us up. Yep. You know? Because then I can say what I, I, what I read in. And, uh, what was it? And then said those curses cleave it to us. Oh, Baruch. The First Baruch step. wanted. Yeah, Baruch wanted said that after after that, then them curses just cleave it to Jacob. 
so-called Native American Indians on reservations, they alcoholics, Negroes out here, drugs, selling drugs and shit, killing one another, getting killed in the streets. Yeah. We all messed up, man. The Lord is rebuilding the house of David, man. The ruins of David, the, ru the ruins of King David, he's establishing it again on the earth, man. So the Lord can come back and redeem his people so we get the hell up out of here, man. But you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the wickedness of your doings is not allowing you to hear this word. Like I just got you reading in what it says, um, your iniquities have turned away these things and, and your sins withhold the good things from you, man. While you're not out here listening or not taking heed to the scriptures of the men of the Lord, you miss out on the gospel, which is the good news. You got the kingdom of heaven coming from you, for you. You're going to be delivered. The elect of his people, your enemies going to be taken down. You'll be put back in rulership with the Lord, man. But your iniquities are withholding you from hearing these things, man. That was it. Okay, now, uh, okay, give me a uh, Revelation 21 and 7. This is Revelations 21 and 7. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and I will be his power, and he shall be my son. Right now, uh, he that overcometh, man. You know, that's why we out here uh, talking about these things. You know what I'm saying? The scriptures say to go, go out in the highways and byways, you know what I'm saying, uh, and to uh, uh, you know, lift our voice up as a trumpet. You know what I'm saying? And to proclaim wisdom in the streets. You know, and this is wisdom right here. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Read the Proverbs 4 chapter. It tells you that the law and the commandment is a, is a lamp and a light. You know what I'm saying? To show us the way. You know, in the valley of the shadow of death. You know what I'm saying? We in the valley of the shadow of death. Man, every so, day. So this is like a lamp, you know, with the light and the fire in there. Showing us where, where to go and where, how to move. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's why the scriptures say that the wicked they they stumble at and they and not know what. Right. You know, the wicked they, understand not. Go ahead. No, no, you got it. Go okay. Yeah, you know they in darkness, so you know they're right. hitting, well, hitting things, falling down, and they don't even know what. It, you know what I mean? Right. But uh, okay, go ahead and read that last verse. Eight. Verse, eight. verse eight. But the but the fear but the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters. And all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Right, man. So that's going to be here in America, man, that lake of fire. When them thermonuclear bombs go off, you know, all these nations are going to shoot their missiles over here and destroy this place, man. Yep. So all those whoremongers, those liars, all that, that, that they listed, man, they're here in America right now. You know, whether it be Esau or any other nation and uh, whatever uh, our people... Uh, where, whichever of our people took part of that right. they're all going to die man and the elect are going to be delivered and saved you know why because of their uh, belief in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai yep. you know what I'm saying if we didn't believe if we didn't have faith we wouldn't be out here doing this we'd be out there with them living right. in the world yep. you know what I'm saying but we have that fear of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai like we read in Jeremiah the 5th chapter you know fear ye not me like yeah yeah we fear you you know what I'm saying we fear you Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai you know, that's why we out here. You know, we believe that you're gonna come and deliver the elect, those men that uh, stood fast for, the, for your name. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Uh, you got anything else? No, no, absolutely. Okay, so with that, you know, Lord willing, brothers were edified. All right, uh, we want to say, Kao Halal, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rekak, Adash. All right, double honors to apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to the Akim scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, keeping his word in truth and sincerity. Shalom. Shalom.